Helicopters always draw a lot of attention and make us gaze enthusiastically at the sky. They've got a complex design, high maneuverability, and almost unlimited capacity for modernization. Engineers regularly present innovative solutions in this area. Today, you will see a drone by Kawasaki, a helicopter that cannot fly but floats instead, and even an aircraft designed to explore Mars. This is the Innovative Tech Channel, and a new episode is dedicated to the most unique helicopters in the world. Let's get started. Kawasaki K-Racer Unmanned aircraft is one of the main high-tech trends of our time. Engineers have been working on a remotely controlled helicopter for a long time. A striking example of such project is the brainchild of Kawasaki called the K-Racer. This is a high-speed rotorcraft, which differs from its relatives not only in its compact size, but also in its advanced electronic stuffing. Even the design of the apparatus itself has undergone noticeable changes since it has an aircraft-type tail unit and wings with pulling propellers installed on them. This copter is powered by an uprated engine from the legendary Kawasaki Ninja H2R motorcycle. The technical characteristics of the helicopter are classified. It is known that both remote control and fully autonomous flights with a programmed route will be available. Right now, the device is actively undergoing flight tests in the Hokkaido Aviation Park. Ferry Rotodyne the 21st century is not the only one famous for amazing technologies and original helicopters. Back in 1957, an experimental aircraft rose into the skies over Great Britain. Its layout was called a rotorcraft. It was a bizarre combination of a helicopter and a gyroplane by Ferry Aviation, and the aircraft itself was dubbed the Rotodyne. The rotorcraft featured a four-bladed main rotor with jet engines at the ends and a short aircraft-type wing where two turboprop engines were mounted. This proved to be a breakthrough design, proving that large vertical takeoff and landing transport aircraft can be economical. The aircraft proved to be excellent in tests, and one of its prototypes carried out 455 flights without a single incident. Emergencies were also practiced, even with the simulation of an aircraft and a subsequent landing approach on one engine. The maximum speed of Rotodyne reached 213 miles per hour, and its technical characteristics allowed carrying 48 passengers or cargo weighing up to 6 tons. Its maximum range was 515 miles. The project was discontinued in 1959 due to a lack of funding and the government's desire to optimize the aviation industry. The production rotorcraft, which offered a cost of 4 cents per passenger mile, was never destined to make a revolution. Water Helicopter Helicat 22 as you know, a helicopter is not particularly water-friendly and prefers staying above the surface. But how would you react if you saw it rushing through the waves of the sea? The creators of the Helicat 22 water transport crossed the catamaran and a sturdy helicopter-type cabin. As a result, they got a real marine all-terrain vehicle, which is amazingly durable and capable to accelerate up to 40 miles per hour. The water helicopter also demonstrates high efficiency and ensures traveling up to 5 miles per gallon. However, the main feature of an unusual catamaran with a helicopter cockpit is not its speed or economical fuel consumption, but its stability on water. Even at top speed, this apparatus is easy to operate and almost completely eliminates the possibility of a rollover. Of course, this miracle technology cannot be called a traditional helicopter, but we simply could not help showing it to our subscribers. Airboxer HEF over the past six years, high eye specialists have been working on the creation of an industrial unmanned aerial vehicle, Airboxer HEF-32. It is a compact autonomous drone designed for all-weather flights. The helicopter can travel up to 111 miles on one fuel tank, while its maximum speed is 80 miles. The nominal altitude is 10,000 feet and the payload is limited to 11 pounds. The drone is designed for terrain reconnaissance, surveillance, and rescue operations. That is why it was made resistant to harsh weather conditions. Airboxer flies at temperatures between negative 20 and plus 45 degrees with 95% humidity. The helicopter can take off and land with a wind speed of 25 knots. Snow or rain is not an obstacle thanks to the IP67 protection level. The device operates both in fully automatic mode and on a remote control. Robotic Mars Helicopter 
There are hardly any places left on our planet where a helicopter has not been to, so it's time to test this aircraft on another planet. NASA engineers believe that this is the design of the aircraft suitable for the exploration of Mars. They have developed a robotic experimental apparatus that will analyze the terrain on Mars, helping to set an optimal route for the Perseverance rover. An idea of using a helicopter on another planet may seem a little insane, but the fact is that these are the ideas that work best there. Even the very delivery of cargo to the surface of Mars is an incredibly difficult mission bordering on complete chaos. A NASA space helicopter is flying to the surface of the red planet right now along with its older brother. It is attached to the Perseverance bottom. The lifting force is provided by a double propeller which spins up to 2.4 thousand revolutions per minute. The device weighs 2.2 pounds and the flight duration on one battery charge is 90 seconds. The batteries are charged by a solar panel located above the twin propeller. Kamen K-Max Heavy lift is the Kamen Aero System slogan that best describes the K-Max cargo helicopter. This single-seat aircraft is a real workhorse and is designed for the sole purpose of transporting cargo quickly. The aforementioned model has been surfing the sky since 1994 and according to officials has managed to fly more than 340,000 hours. The device is based on the traditional for the American company Syncropter scheme. It features two overlapping rotors. The narrow fuselage provides the pilot with excellent visibility, allowing to control the cargo with phenomenal precision. Maximum payload weight is 6,000 pounds. At the same time, the design of the helicopter is focused on fast lifting and transportation of cargo. Its horizontal speed at full weight is 90 miles per hour. The fuselage of this unusual vehicle is made of aluminum alloys, and its propellers are made of composite materials. Hughes XH-17 Another flying crane rounds off our selection. Unlike more modern K-Max, the Hughes XH-17 experimental aircraft dates back to 1948. At that time, the U.S. Department of Defense held a competition for the development of a heavy transport helicopter. The helicopter was supposed to carry a 20-foot long and 6.5-foot wide container. Its weight was 10,000 pounds. Let's remind you that it was only 1948. On April 23, 1952, the Hughes prototype designated XH-17 carried out its first flight. In fact, it was a flying stand, assembled from parts of various aircraft and helicopters. The cockpit was borrowed from the Waco CG-15, the chassis from the B-25, and the fuel tank was the one used on the B-29 bomber. To say that the XH-17 had an extravagant look is to say nothing. The flying crane was a real monster. A huge main rotor reached 128 feet in diameter with the length of the vehicle itself being 52 feet. The helicopter could lift up to 12 tons of cargo, but other characteristics of the XH-17 left much to be desired. The flight range was 40 miles, while the maximum speed was 79 miles per hour. Helicopters have long become indispensable helpers in various spheres of human activity. Engineers continue to improve their designs and apparently even more fascinating developments in this category of aircraft are waiting for us in the near future. What device did you like most and why? Share your opinion in the comments below the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This was the Innovative Techs. See you next time.